She dreams of stardom under the bright lights of Broadway. I had a real kind of natural talent. Are you an actress? It seemed like a fairy tale. But she'll make her name on a more intimate stage. She wanted to make a theater of her life. You're good. I'm the best. As New York's number one escort, the wages of sin reap rich rewards. I was making $50,000 a week. But they will lead to a world of dark desires. We were living these crazy lives by a different set of rules. And deadly temptations. Every breath I took was pure fear. Every single moment. Everyone dreams of hitting the big time in the Big Apple. But only a few actually make it. 25-year-old Natalie McLennan is one of them. She's in the spotlight where she always wanted to be. You can be sexy, innocent. There you go. Yeah. She was gorgeous. Just absolutely amazing. Her legs, her, her body, her looks, her hair. She wanted to become famous, and she did. Natalie has it all. She's young, rich, and beautiful. Her story of fame and fortune is about to be splashed all over the media. All of a sudden, I was on the cover of New York Magazine, and I'm on CNN, I'm on Entertainment Tonight. And the secret to her success? Natalie is the highest paid call girl in New York City. I'm on all these different television shows talking about our world and sharing it with the world. All the world's a stage now, but for Natalie, the curtain rose years before. <laughs> What is it? I want you open up and see. It all starts with a pair of tap shoes. Thanks, Ma. I had a real kind of natural talent. Enough talent to get noticed nationwide. Natalie had gone to a competition and won a national championship event. Attention felt good, so I definitely loved that. After high school, Natalie attends theater classes and graduates in 2000. I love dance, but I really love theater. Being somebody else and playing different roles. Soon, Montreal isn't enough. Natalie wants more. A bigger stage and brighter lights. The fantasy of New York is that you're going to land the greatest job, you're going to live in the most amazing apartment, you're going to have this jet set lifestyle, and you're going to be able to afford to shop everywhere you want to shop. Right away, Natalie gets a taste of success in the city. You have an interesting face. Are you an actress? This lady came yeah. up to me and just started chatting with me. Well, I have a play coming up, but I think you'd be a good fit. Would you like to audition? It seemed like a fairy tale. So I auditioned, then I got a part. Natalie's acting feeds her need for attention. But with only bit parts to play, she's coming up short on bills. As an actress, you get one part, and then as soon as it's done, you're unemployed again. You have to go right back to auditioning and going to dozens of auditions to land another part. She was like a lot of people in New York. They come to New York because that's the place they've always dreamed of living, and they get here, and um, they're not becoming a star right away. So, in fact, things were a little more tough than you might imagine. Soon, Natalie's spending less time auditioning and more time partying with her friends. There was a thought that no matter how hard I worked, 
I wouldn't succeed. And I was like, oh, well, if I'm not gonna make it, I might as well just have fun. Once the club would close at four o'clock in the morning, right away we were off to an after party and then another after party. Just these crazy parties that were full of drugs, full of champagne, full of beautiful people. And one of those beautiful people is a man named Jason Itzler. He kind of had a bit of an air of self-importance. Like a drink? And he just had a lot of confidence. So let me guess, you are a model or an actress, right? Um, I'm an actress. Is this your phone? Yeah. He took my phone and he put his number in my phone. If you like making people happy and want to make lots of money doing it, give me a call, all right? I wasn't sure if he was like an entrepreneur or maybe a trust fund kid. Jason Itzler is an entrepreneur, at least when he isn't behind bars. The 36-year-old is a convicted drug dealer, busted carrying thousands of doses of ecstasy into the country. It was someone who, like, really was uh, addicted to living at the edge. He was like, totally a brinksmanship kind of guy. He did everything way over the top. I have seen anyone that could make money and spend money as fast as he could. Fresh out of jail and still on parole, Itzler has branched out from peddling pills to selling sex. He runs New York Confidential, the Big Apple's most exclusive escort service, a very special world of role play. Itzler offers his customers the ultimate girlfriend experience, and he gives beautiful young women like Natalie the chance to get rich quick. It was never something I entertained as something I would do. At least, not yet. Natalie McLennan has come to New York to make it big on Broadway, and she quickly finds out becoming a star is harder than she thought. But then she meets Jason Itzler, who offers her a starring role on a different kind of stage. If you like making people happy and want to make lots of money doing it, give me a call, all right? So I called Jason. They meet at Itzler's office, a swanky 10,000-square-foot loft in trendy Tribeca. You have no idea what a pleasant surprise this is. She got into this world where, like, you sort of felt, here's this glamorous world. It might not have been the one that you really wanted, but there was glamour there. Seems perfect, right? It's an enticing opportunity for an actress struggling to make ends meet. The tone of the agency was sharing love with everybody, making everybody happy, earning lots of money. It's a crazy life. But it's a lot of fun. Itzler tells Natalie his escorts are more like beautiful, classy girlfriends for hire. It would be more like a date with sex involved, as opposed to a 15-minute sexual interaction. Companionship for the clients and cash for Natalie. You could easily make $1,000 an hour. Isn't that right, girls? It's great. See? Those numbers to me were, like, staggering. She came to New York to be an actress. And then that was part of the selling point. That Jason Hitzler said, like, I'm going to give you the role of a lifetime. So does that sound like something you'd be interested in? Yes. Wonderful. If she couldn't be in the theater, she wanted to make a theater of her life. Natalie McLennan makes her debut as a high-priced escort. She adopts the stage name Natalia. And her very first scene... Hey. ...is a threesome. Happy graduation. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks. 
The client was actually a young guy who just graduated law school and his dad got him two escorts as his graduation present. We should get started with a little champagne. Hello, He's just graduated law school. This is his party, you know? So let's give him like a really fun graduation party. Have a good time? I had an amazing time. Yeah? I walked out of that appointment feeling really good. Turns out, Natalie is a natural. Had a, like a spark that people liked. I was really positive. I'm really glad we got together again. It's good to see you. What do you want to get into tonight? Everything. Everything. <laughs> Hello. Would you mind getting my wife into? Soon, the city's biggest players are calling for Natalia. It was a lot of guys from the age of like 25 to 55, people who like worked on Wall Street, celebrities, actors, sports guys. Wow. You're good. I'm the best. She's living life in the fast lane with her new boyfriend. Last night was good. Yeah? Her boss, Jason Itzler. My relationship with Jason was unlike any relationship I'd ever had before. I was able to share how I felt with him in a way that I couldn't do with any of my friends because they wouldn't understand. It was completely an alternate reality. A reality that includes sex, drugs, and more cash than she ever thought possible. We were living <laughs> these crazy lives um, by a different set of rules. We'd go out and spend $4,000 just shopping, and then I would take my friends out for dinner, and that was another $1,000. <clears> I would go do an overnight for $10,000. I was making $50,000 a week. I felt like I was on top of the world. But Natalie's world is about to come crashing down. It looks like 25-year-old Natalie McLennan has it all. For the past eight months, she's brought in hundreds of thousands of dollars as New York's top escort. It definitely felt like I was living a life. But hard drugs have become a big part of living the life. I was doing more and more drugs. I'd use drugs almost daily, you know, that whole time. And soon, even all the drugs aren't enough. Hey, Jason was expecting you earlier. Natalia became notoriously late. And then you have clients who would turn sour. Look who finally decided to show up. Where have you been? Don't give me a hard time, Jason. I'm exhausted. You know your little NBA player friend wasn't too satisfied with your performance last night? When you show up for a guy and you're not showing him the affection and you're, you're stoned out of your mind and, you know, you fall asleep, it's not good for the number one escort of New York. What's wrong with you? What's gotten into you lately? I'm exhausted. I've been making you a ton of money. I don't care if you've been making me a ton of money, all right? You make me the most problems out of any of these girls here. My spark definitely started to go away over time, but really the tone of the agency changed. There was like a darkness, you know, that comes with the drugs. And I want you to cut it out, whatever you're doing, whatever bothering you, okay? He started to lose it a little bit and he started to take it out on me. I made you and I can just as easily take it all away from you. When he started to disrespect me in that way, um, I realized that I had to get away from him. I'm done. Natalie leaves Jason Itzler's den of sleaze. And as luck would have it, she picks just the right time to get out of the call girl game. Two and a half months later, the agency was raided by the police and shut down. 
Jason Itzler, the self-described king of all pimps and the man behind the notorious New York Confidential Escort Agency, was arrested today. Itzler is charged with money laundering and promoting prostitution. The story of the imprisoned pimp and his high-priced escort girlfriend gets the attention of New York's media. Natalie? Hey. Hey. How so are you? Nice to meet you. you. And if there's one thing Natalie can't resist, it's attention. How does it feel? Natalie agrees to a tell-all story about being a high-flying hustler. Wow, we're going to get right into it, huh? Well, that's the way it is. I thought, I'm not going to work as an escort anymore, period. So unless they catch me accepting money for sex, what can they arrest me for? What did you think about those clients? They were all really interesting guys. In retrospect, she probably should have never talked to me. Just one thing sort of led to another. You felt fall into And since this is Natalie, only a cover story will do. But on the day of the photo shoot, Natalie has second thoughts. But I have to ask you honestly, what does your family think about your job? I started to feel sick in my stomach. I had an absolute sense of impending doom. Could you excuse me a second? I need to make a phone call. Sure. All of a sudden, it was like, this was it. That magazine was going to drop, and everyone was going to know. Everyone, including her mother. Hi, Mom. Well, I'm going to be on the cover of a magazine. Really? That's great. Yeah. This is going to be upsetting. I said, remember I told you about Jason? He doesn't own a modeling agency. He owns an escort agency. Yeah, I was stunned. I started crying. Don't cry, Mom. That's the most painful, difficult thing to hear. You need to get to set. OK, thanks. Mom? I'll call you in a couple hours, OK? All of a sudden, it was like time sped up and then stopped. And I realized that this wasn't going to happen. The magazine hits the street with Natalie on the cover. It was one of the most popular stories the magazine ever had. Natalie finally has what she always wanted. Now everybody knows her name, including the police. I was naked with a sheet, but also all my secrets were out for all of the world to see. The story sparks a full-blown media frenzy. Suddenly, Natalie McLennan is the must-have talk show guest. I'm on CNN, I'm on Entertainment Tonight, I'm on The Insider, I'm on The Today Show, I'm on all these different television shows talking about our world and sharing it with the world. Natalie's candid talk and juicy confession makes life all the easier for New York's finest. You can't be on the cover of New York Magazine doing something illegal without the cops doing something about it. With Itzler already behind bars, cops use his records to bust the rest of his flesh-peddling gang. In July 2005, the curtain comes down on Natalie's run in New York City. When they put the handcuffs on me, my body was shaking and trembling. I didn't have any coherent thoughts. I couldn't breathe. She's arrested for prostitution and money laundering. There's no more five-star hotels, high rollers, or all-night parties. Natalie's home is a cramped jail cell. It's a city jail, so like you have everything from a drug addict to a murderer. Every breath I took was pure fear. Every single moment. But after a month behind bars, Natalie makes bail and she's released. Pending her trial, she's not allowed to leave New York City. I mean, I was homeless. My belongings were gone. 
I had no money, no way to earn money. The 25-year-old turns to her mother for help. Mom? And just when Natalie thinks things couldn't get any worse... You have what? They do. I've been diagnosed with breast cancer. Although it was awful news, it just gave her the drive to really get out of New York and come home. I finally had this moment where I realized that it wasn't just me. Natalie begs the district attorney to let her visit her mother in Canada, and she offers to plead guilty to attempted money laundering. I had, like, a show of kindness. And she gets the break of a lifetime. Her sentence is reduced to time already served in jail. Natalie McLennan is given a second chance. She goes back to Canada to help her mom and put her own life back together. It's a, a wonderful ending to Natalie's story. I think you can overcome any, anything in your past. It just gives me hope that like, you know, that everything will work out.